Hey guys, this is Tonner, and today we've got Kate Bishop revealed coming to the Young Avengers as we all kind of thought to go alongside Echo. She's going to be joining that Young Avengers team, which is going to be forming that new five-man war defense team. And honestly, they look like they're going to be crazy. They look like they're going to be like heroes for hire, but slightly stronger, which isn't going to be great. But at least the way they're designed, it looks like you're going to be able to like at least two hit them. Like the way they're kind of, it's going to be a bit easier than heroes for hire when they were initially launched which is great the cool thing in here as well is that they mentioned cassie lang as stature so maybe down the track we're going to end up seeing a a split between um the young avengers into champions or something along those lines which would be awesome the other thing is that in the uh in the strike time they actually mentioned that kate bishop is going to be potentially having some synergy with Hawkeye down the track. So maybe they're going to end up getting like a rework for Hawkeye for like West Coast Avengers, which has been hinted at a few times or something like uh, something along those lines. But I guess we'll kind of keep an eye on that. Uh, I loved the Hawkeye TV show. Honestly, the Hawkeye TV show is probably my favorite of the Disney Plus shows, which is funny because it actually just beats out, uh, uh, beats out Loki and Loki I absolutely love. So I'm very, very excited for all of this. Uh, she also has 200% accuracy, which is something to keep in mind because it means that she's immune to blind, similar to Daredevil. Uh, Hawkeye and Yondu also have like 110 and 150 uh, percent accuracy or something along those lines. So um, it basically means that when she gets blinded, it's not going to be as bad, which is interesting because there's currently no one really in the meta that inflicts blind. If you look at the characters that are in the meta, um, that are like on war offense, there's not all that many characters that are kind of blinding. So something to kind of keep in the back of your mind there. Um, maybe they're going to end up doing some rework somewhere. Maybe they're going to end up kind of releasing some new blinding characters. I don't know. It, it's very interesting that there's like two characters on this team that are immune to that blind. All right. So similar to Heroes for Hire, she gains five charge on spawn, but we're going to have a look at her kit because it's a bit easier to read from there. So her basic here, she's going to attack and clear positive effects. And then if it crits, it's going to chain to an adjacent target and clear positive effects as well. One thing to also keep in the back of your head is that she is a tech character not a skill character like we thought because i assume they went more around the kind of, like the trick arrows and stuff instead of her being purely based on skill using those trick arrows which i really liked from the show um so maybe she's going to have some use in uh in uh what's his name uh in uh the raids or something but i guess we'll kind of keep that in the back of our heads as we kind of get her launched into the game and see how she goes there it also is going to gain 25 percent crit chance anytime she's charged uh it'll be interesting to see what this does for the assist as well obviously the uh Obviously, the team with Miss Marvel has constant assists and strikers, so it'll be interesting to see if she gains this crit chance on her striker ability as well. Her special here, she's attacking, she's clearing positive effects. Uh, no, she's flipping positive effects, actually. If she's got charge, she's going to apply offense up to the whole team. If she doesn't have charge, instead, she's going to fill her speed bar and then gain charge, and it can't be dodged. Her ultimate... She's going to basically fire all her trick arrows out. She's attacking everyone. If she has charge, she's applying blind for two turns to the enemy with the highest damage and flipping two random positive effects for two turns on all other characters. Only, uh, oh, sorry, applying two negative effects. So defense down, disrupt, offense down, or slow. It's interesting that they're like very limited ones there. She's going to lose a charge from that on war defense. However, she's not going to lose her charge and she's going to gain extra focus. She's going to apply speed up. So Kate is really the backbone from this team. She's the one who's there giving them a whole lot of buffs and everything, chucking out heaps of debuffs. Basically, Kate is the one that you want to be going after. Um, and then Echo like is going to be doing that reta uh, retaliate as well. On spawn, she's applying offense up to them all. Anytime a young Avenger dies or drops below 50%, she's attacking a random enemy, applying slow and blind. So maybe this is why Kate has the anti-blind thing in case you wanted to use young Avengers on war offense for some reason. I don't know. Uh, when she drops below 50%, she's gaining evade. She's giving resistance, gaining resistance. Uh, on turn, if she's charged, she's chucking out ability energy. And as I said, she gains five charge at the start. However, she can gain charge on the special if she's not charged currently. So, um, 
they've got Miss Marble on the team chucking out a whole lot of uh, ability energies. So hopefully, like, they get a rework there. So that goes to her as well. Now, on her special here for America Chavez, she gains a whole lot of stat boost there. And then on her special, if uh, Kate Bishop's an ally, she's always going to crit with her special, which is good. Her ultimate here is going to clear positive effects and deal damage. But on war defense, it's targeting the enemy with the lowest speed bar. I don't think we've had an enemy with the lowest speed bar be targeted. Usually it's the one with the highest. So that's really weird because, like, why do you want to target the person who's just had a turn? I assume it's to kind of um, have it line up with some speed from some other characters or something, like maybe against Weapon X or Infinity Watch. But it's interesting that this is like the target of the enemy with the lowest speed bar and it doesn't rewind speed bar or anything. Flip positive effects into negative effects instead of clearing them there as well. Then her ultimate here, she's still getting extra max health and giving extra max health, so an extra 5% there. On spawn, she's filling a speed bar for adjacent allies, so you want her next to Kate for sure. She's reducing enemy drain by 100%, so anyone who gives drain isn't going to be able to drain anymore. And if she has three or more young Avenger allies, she's reducing the enemy damage as well. Jesus. Then the Miss Marvel update here. She's gaining do two deflex every time she attacks. She's going to give herself taunt and heal a little bit more, an extra 3,000. I mean, this part here is pretty worthless. Um, but the extra taunt now every time she specials is going to be really good. Uh, and then her passive here, uh, it's got a bit more worked into it. So this part here is all the same. This part here is all the same. But in here, anytime she drops below 50%, she's going to get rid of her taunt. She's gaining armor, giving out the uh, Young Avengers armor, giving extra armor in war, and then giving max health. So you've got extra max health here, and then you've got extra max health up here from America Chavez as well. So that's like an extra 50% max health or something. Jesus. Uh, then you've got Squirrel Girl. Squirrel Girl gains so much armor here, which is great because she's then getting even more gun armor from that. Her special here on war defense is going to gain ability energy uh, if the health if health started above 90% gain one ability energy. So I'm not sure if she's chucking out ability energy to her team or if that's like she gains ability energy. So that way it's make it so that's just a clear instead of healing. I assume that's what it probably is. And also it clears negative effects before healing a war defense. That's uh, very interesting. Her ultimate now is going to apply a, a heal block, fill speed bar, like her speed bar, for a 10% per young Avenger ally, so an extra 40% speed bar, unless she counts herself there, and it can't be counted. And then her passive here, she's also gaining, uh, when they drop below 75%, she's going to give them two deflex. When they drop below 25%, she's giving them two defense ups. Uh, sorry, death proof. So this is similar to... Uh, What's his face? Hulk's passive, where he's like gaining stuff as he drops lower, giving drain, and uh, that's got upped by five percent, an extra five percent, extra seventy-five percent max health in total from the team. Holy cow, that's going to be crazy. That's insane. Uh, so then we've got the mirror image event coming. So we know that this is going to be the event for uh, for uh, for Echo. So the newest Young Avenger, Echo there, uh, gain limited time imprint currency by doing the fighting, sp fighting spirit milestone, uh, raid arena and real time arena. You can do real time arena. Interesting. Interesting that they're letting you do it that way as well. Uh, the fighting spirit here, earn progress towards a three day milestone that repeats five times during the event by winning in blitz. Um, what? Oh, okay. So you're gaining it from the Blitz, and then this is also gaining it from doing your daily objectives. That's what it is. Okay, I'm wrong there. Uh, then the my Mirror uh, uh, Milestone here, 15-day milestone for spending imprints, campaign energy, and ISO 8 energy. We'll reward you with Echo, uh, Tier uh, Elite 4, Tier 4, and Gear. And then a ranked leaderboard here, which is going to give you Teal Uniques. Uh... Earning as many mirror image milestone points as possible. Oh, okay. So, oh, so that's the direction they're going to be doing it. It's going to be more similar to, uh, so it's going to be like 
you complete it. And then after you complete it, you have the option of continuing on to gain uh, the ranked leaderboard as well to reward you with exclusive rewards such as Teal Uniques. Then you've got bonus objectives in there as well. Cloak is also doing going to the raid store, which I'm surprised by. Again, where is Moon Dragon? Um, so yeah i don't know guys let me know what you think i know you guys hate war defense teams but this one doesn't seem too bad in regards to they gain the charges here once for um once for kate bishop and then after that she's not going to be gaining them again except for her special she's gaining one and a lot of this stuff is kind of locked behind her charge like this whole thing here is locked behind her charge um but she's not losing charge from it and this here does she lose charge on war defense actually Oh, she loses charge per turn. That's right. So per turn, she's losing the charge there. Uh, so I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. That's it for today. Have a great day and goodbye.